Every day after practice, before the season, I would stay after and shoot with the coaches and get in extra work and do anything I could to help improve my game. I got a lot of playing time my freshman year. I got to start and be the point guard, which was shocking to me, but it was nice because it was kind of like a hard work pays off thing. I was really proud of Z this year for, you know, taking on the point guard spot. She's naturally an off guard and, you know, when we lost Andrea Gordon, she really had to take, you know, ownership and she did a fantastic job and made the all-freshman team. So, you know, with her and then Taylor Proctor, we had two out of the five on the all-freshman team this year and, you know, for Z, that doesn't, it, on some level, doesn't matter to her. She just wants to win. Coach AZ taught us how important it is to know each and every single one of our teammates because you never know when their number is going to be called or where, when your number is going to be called. So you need to know how they want the ball passed to them or what they do good on the court so that when it's their time, I guess, to shine or for us to shine as a whole, we put each other in the right positions. I feed off of the coach's energy a lot because they're always so energetic and so positive and then once they, especially Coach Steyer, she's so energetic all the time, so she feeds that into me and then I get super just energetic and I bring that upon the whole team and then the team will get energetic and then we'll all just be one loud, energetic team. I love Z's energy. You know, when I, when I was recruiting Z, I just, you know, you could be watching other games and just want to, you know, watch her because she affects the game in such a positive way and in fact there are times at practice you know, we'll switch things up and, and I would say 75-80% of the time, no matter what her team wins. You know, she's a winner, she's a fighter. Um, I, I just, I love how hard she plays. And so she's got all that going for her, but now she's really embraced learning and learning how to shoot and kind of harnessing her athleticism and, and actually slowing down a little bit um, to, to improve her game. And I, I just, I love working with her. I'm starting to picture myself in game-like situations at all times. It's crazy being the point guard. I catch myself just walking around campus and just working on my vision and noticing any little detail. Or in workouts, I notice, I picture somebody coming at me trying to steal the ball. Or when I'm giving the ball to my teammate, I'm picturing someone trying to deflect it. So I just catch myself thinking ahead now, I guess taking on that veteran role and just thinking about game-like situations and what could happen in a game so that when I get there with the team, those mistakes don't happen. The way that our coaches kind of relate with us, it's like they're our coaches, but also like our best friends as well. So when I got here, I definitely felt like I was part of another family. I was nervous at first when I came here, but as soon as I saw how well we all clicked and how amazing the coaching staff was, I knew it was gonna be a beautiful thing. I mean, no one out here or anywhere I know is working as hard as us or is as close as us, and we, there's no better coaching staff, I think, in the country. And what makes us different is that right there. And we're in the best city in the world. I mean, I can't complain. Z loves San Francisco, and she chose USF, number one, for a great education. I mean, we are, you know, here at USF, one of the top schools in the country. So education, loves the city, and then was really drawn to our staff and, and being part of a program like ours where, you know, she's gonna get taught by not only I would say excellent coaches, but coaches that played at a really high level. So she was definitely drawn to that.